I'm donating 33 books today. Well, 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 if, is it, if, it, if, it, if it isn't me and the dozens of books I need to donate to little libraries. I'm gonna count them up. I just went back through my library and picked these books to donate because I still have way too many books up there. In total, we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 books to donate. Some of the little libraries that I go to are usually empty or for the most part are like basically empty. So what I'm gonna do is bring all of these books. If there's a little library that's lacking, I'm gonna just fill the entire little library up. We may be donating all 33 books today. Who knows, man, you'll just have to stick around to find out. A majority of these books are tiny books because I went through a phase of really loving cozy mysteries and wanting to get every fantasy book that I could find because I loved one. So I was like, I need about 30 more. I've already been through some of these of why I'm donating them, like specifically these two stacks. These are the books that I've like just decided to donate. This like nonfiction book that I'm just not gonna read. I have a lot of Debbie McComer. I think that's how you say her name, I don't know. But I have a lot of that because I just realized like probably not gonna read them soon at least. And you can find Debbie pretty much anywhere. A lot of fantasy stuff that I picked up for really, really cheap. This one I got at a little library forever ago. And who am I kidding? I'm just not gonna read it. This one I tried, I got about like 120 pages in and then I realized how much of a commitment this would be. It's like 800 pages. I did like it, but just not for me. I still have half of my bookshelf up there. We're just gonna go to some little libraries, drop off a lot of these books, and hopefully find some good ones. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Nothing in particular really today. I just need to get rid of these books is my priority. And if we find something cool, then we find something cool. I'm gonna go get a bin to put all these books in and uh, we're gonna go drop them off at little libraries. So, let's go. Action. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at our first little free library. Did you think that was funny? That was something that um, guests <laughs> would do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're here, man. We filled a whole bin of those books. We have never been to this little library in town. I don't know why. So I'm very excited. It looks big and it's in a really nice part of the town. So I think we're gonna find some good stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna look at what's in the little library, organize it up a little bit, and then decide how many books we should put in there because I have so many that I'm not gonna bring all of them out there right now. So that's the game plan. Let's go. This looks so nice. Wow. People in need on vacation. I've already read it, but that's really cool that they have this. A puzzle! Trevor, we could do a cat puzzle together. You don't want to do that? So we're gonna start over here. We got Linda Laplante. Linda La Laplante. What is this? Silent Scream. Okay, we're gonna put that back. All Mortal Flesh, that also sounds like something we should put back. Manufacturing Consent. What? <laughs> Saints Gate, that looks kind of interesting. Bloodline, All Too Human, The Ruby Dice, Coming Home, that's huge. Sea Strike, there's all these tiny ones. Oh my gosh, Janet Ivanovich. Something, oh, shut your mouth. Literally, shut up. Okay, let me explain something. For my birthday, we went to the thrift store and I got like five books in this series. It's a dragon series. And I'm just like trying to slowly collect them. Yeah, the Dragon Riders of Pern is the, the like book series. I don't know what number this is, but this is one of the books. And I don't have this one yet. Uh, Self-defense, clobbered by something. Threshold to tomorrow at home in Stone Creek. And I think this is an audiobook. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, audiobooks. Yeah, a lot. Go with the Dragon Tattoo. And George R. Martin. Um, 
And then, I'm interested in this. Developing the leader within you, falling leaves. These two I'm interested in. Okay, I'm probably gonna take these. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Why am I so cold? It's a chilly day. So we know for sure I'm gonna take three books from my stack that I have to put in here. And I'm gonna reorganize this and I'll show you the finished product. Hey. Yeah, there you go. That looks nice. I rate this one a 10 out of 10. I love the location. I love how big it is inside. It was actually really well taken care of. I got three books. I'm really cold now. And it's time to go to the next one. You've got a smell that can light up this whole town. I haven't seen it in a while since you brought you down. Okay, their garage door is open. So I'm hoping nobody like comes outside or does anything because I'll be very embarrassed. We're gonna do the same thing as the last little library. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at what they've got and see how many books we should donate. Action. See, now we're gonna start seeing the books I donated. <laughs> this one looks like it needs quite a bit of help. Oh, most of all of these were here like last time. Who looked through this? What is wrong with them? Is there anything in here that looks interesting? I don't think so. Oh, this one. Every time mm -hmm. I think about taking it. Should I do this way? I don't know how you should do it. I gotta think of it like that. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. Don't worry, we still have a whole bottom level. I think I'm gonna do the same concept as up there. Okay. From what I can see, I don't want anything. So I'm thinking we could put our stack of books. Right there. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, this time. I still love this one. This one's like a 10 out of 10 for me. I think it always will be. It's just nice. Look at that. On to the next. Alrighty, we are here at the famous park with the knob that comes off and has a screw sticking out and could kill a kid. But this one looks pretty empty. So I'm thinking we might just assume that we need to bring a lot of books. <laughs> We're donating so many books, Trevor. How do you feel? I feel good. We'll finally have storage again. Why does it look full? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. A lot of magazines. Did you break it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, here's one of the books we donated. The Norton Anthology of Modern Poetry. That's cool. I'm not gonna take it. I'm just saying that's really cool. I definitely think I overestimated. Every time we come here, there's like nothing in there. You can probably stand those up on the side. I kind of hate how this one turned out. Oh, this is upside down. Oh no. It can't be upside down. Um, not great. I still have beef with this one because of the brokenness and the fact that I made it worse. We're gonna walk away. I recorded the whole thing. After all that, I still have 16 books that I need to donate. So that's cute. We didn't want to drive like an hour to the next town where like there's more little libraries. So that is going to be it for today. I got these three books and I'm so excited. This one is a part of a series that I'm getting and I love like little memoirs like this. Like I genuinely didn't even read what these are about. Okay, this one looks like it's about a Japanese family. It's like memoirs. This one looks like it's about a Chinese family. I read one of a Korean family and I really loved that book. So I love reading just about different cultures and this looks so cool. A scholar of Chinese Japanese and English literature. So cool. I'm very excited to dive into these and to add this to my little collection. I think it was a win, man. Thank you so much for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. Because if you subscribe, then you are going to see next week's content, which is a reading wrap up of everything that I've read this fall, which is surprisingly more than I anticipated it being, like double digits. And also what I'm looking forward to read in December and kind of the end of the year going into next year like Christmas winter themed books so you're gonna want to stick around for that so make sure you subscribe I'll see you in the next one bye